Okay, boys and girls, here I am again, and you have watched the video of Kite Day. Hopefully, wasn't that a good book? I love that book. So who are the characters in the story? You guessed it. The mole, and who else? The bear, that's right. And then at the end of the story, there's a couple more characters. Who were they? That's right, the mama bird and the baby birds. Wasn't that a good ending? I loved it. Well, I hope you're ready to draw this picture. I'm gonna show you a couple of different pictures that I drew, have drawn that go with this book, okay? You can draw whatever you want as long as it has a kite in it, all right? Let me show you this one. This is one that I drew, actually, I drew it with chalk because I only have little pieces of chalk and if I went outside, they wouldn't last very long on the sidewalk, would they? So I drew this with chalk, but you don't have to draw with chalk, but this is just an example of a picture that you could draw for kite day. How, how many of you have flown kites? I have not ever flown a kite. Can you believe that? That would be a fun thing to do on a windy day, wouldn't it? You could make a kite and fly it. There's an idea for you. I don't know if it's windy out today or not. It looks like it might be a little bit windy. Remember, YouTube is your friend. Okay, so this is the picture that I'm going to show you how to draw. If you want to follow along with me, if you want to add your own details, feel free to do that. I'm just gonna switch this around before we start. And here we are. Okay. All right, so if you notice, our paper is in vertical position. What, what position is our paper in? That's right, it's in vertical. That means up and down, right? Hopefully you can see that, okay. And I'm not sure the way it's positioned, if I can. There we go. All right, first thing you do when you get your paper is, that's right, you write your name right there. I'm not going to do it right now because I can't draw very well the way this is positioned. <laughs> All right, but I'm excited for you to draw these pictures of, of the bear and the kite and add your own details and I'm excited to see your pictures. By the way, I have been seeing some really nice, nice pictures. Keep up the good work. Okay, the first thing we're gonna draw is the sun in the sky. Again, you can draw your sun however you want. Actually, this line's gonna go all the way to the top, okay? And then I'm gonna draw my sunbeams like this, but again, you can draw them however you want them to be. Okay, and there you have, there's, there's the sun. Okay, the way I have this positioned, the kite draw not quite a horizontal line, but you're gonna draw the, tr the what shape is a kite? That's right, it's a diamond. You're gonna draw that draw diamond shape right up here in this corner, okay? Opposite of the sun, opposite, okay? And then you're going to draw some uh, line going straight up and down and a line across for that kite. Then I'm gonna fill this space up at this side of the page so that we'll have room for the bear over here, okay? So let's do that. We're gonna draw just a wavy line down. I know you can't see, but it doesn't have to be exactly like mine, okay? Just make your wavy line however you want it to be. Again, what shape are these little bows that go on the kite? They are triangles, exactly right, good job. Okay, so uh, draw your bows 
again, however you want them to be. If you don't want them to be triangles, you make them creatively. However you decide to make them because you are the artist. This is your picture. You can make your own artistic decisions. Okay. There we go. So far we have the sun and we have the kite. Remember, you're going to use a pencil with an eraser to start with, okay? That way you can erase. And then after you get it the way you want it, then you can trace it with a black, brown, or gray crayon. Okay, now we're going to make this bear. So I'm going to move this up. The first thing that I'm going to do how about if I do this? This might be a long video. We'll see. Let's see if this will work. This mustard is going to get this. Partly works. Okay, good. All right, so now come down about to, to there we gotta remember leave room for his hands because his hands are reaching up to the sky so see how i almost didn't have enough room for the hands and you might have to race on this part but that's okay so i'm going to draw a u shape for the top of his nose because he is excited and he is looking up, then I'm gonna just fill that in with kind of a curved line. That is his nose, okay? Then we are going to make the bottom of his face and we're gonna make it look round at the bottom and just connect it right here. Again, if you need to erase, no worries. No worries at all, okay? Well, you can see my lamp good there, can't ya? <laughs> okay. I hope you guys are having a good time while you're at home here. You can do a lot of fun things that you didn't get to do when you were at school all the time. There's his ears. And then you're going to make some little upside down U shapes in the inside of his ears. Okay. And we're going to make a U, big U for his smile. And then a smaller U to fill that in. All right, good job. There's his face. He's looking up at the kite. Okay, now we're going to take and we're going to start right about here. Oh, actually, he has a double chin, so let's make the double chin. Make an, another U down there. Make it real thin, okay? Then we're going to make a U shape go up like that for his hands. And then another one added for his arms going up like that, okay? Now, you get to decide. Let me see here. Oh, you know what? I did something wrong. I just figured this out. If I put my hand up like this, my thumb is on the inside. So let me fix this. Let me make this one a little smaller so that this looks like his thumb. Yeah, that's good. All right, so just do this the best you can. Remember, you can make, let's see, I hope you can see that. This is gonna be his hands. You can make his, you can make him have claws, but in this one picture that I made, I made him make, he just has regular people hands. Okay, so there's his hands. Just because when he has his hands up in the air, I want to show that he is going, yay, kite day. Okay, but if you want to make him look like paws, that would be fun. You know how to make paws, don't you? Okay, let me see if I can make his purpose. You could if you wanted to. Make his paws look something like this. And make his paws 
going up in the air instead of like human hands. And now look, that would fit right in there. Okay? So you get to decide again. Okay, now coming down on his arms right here. I made it look like he has an elbow on each side. I kind of made a little bump. So it looks like he has an elbow coming down. Remember, you can rewind this video if you need to. No worries. Okay. Now, the next step. The next step is we're going to make his overall. So we're going to make two lines right coming down right there from his shoulders. And two lines coming down right there for his other strap. Okay. Simple. Simple enough. Now we're going to connect these two lines, kind of with a curved line, and then we're going to make the strap, fill the strap in right here. Make a button just to put some more details in there. Okay, I hope you can see this okay. All right, so we're ready to make the bottom, the inside part of his overall, so just make, actually, if you want to make this line going all the way down to where his foot is going to be, I would do that first before I do this line so you know that you can connect that. Same thing on this side because this foot is up in the air like he's jumping. So this foot is not going to be on the ground, okay? And I just did some kind of weird lines here for his pant leg there, okay? So make one shorter than the other one. Now we're gonna make the top line of his pocket. And again, if you, I'm gonna make a U-shaped pocket, but if you wanna make it a square or a different shape, feel free. Okay, this is going to be the bottom part of his pants leg, okay? His leg is up in the air. I'm gonna make his claw. He has claw feet. So that foot is up in the air and he looks like he's jumping around. We're almost done. Okay, now I'm gonna take this and this is the bottom part of his leg. The leg that is on the ground. I'm gonna make the U shape and then I'm gonna make it connect to the other part of his pants. This is the leg that's on the ground. I'm going to make a claw. I'm going kind of fast, but this video is going to be long. Okay, we're almost done. Now I'm going to make the ground. So make it like if I were going to, but I'm not going to draw through his body. And then you can make the landscape however you want it to be, whatever. If you want more hills or if you want it more flat, if you want to start down here, you can. Remember, your name goes right there where that line is, okay? What's my next step? What's my very next step? That's right. I'm going to trace because you use pencils. So I'm going to trace all of these lines. And if you see in my picture that I drew, I traced with a crayon, which I don't normally do. I usually tra trace as a Sharpie. But I wanted to see how it would look. So there's how I did that, okay? And then after you trace, you're gonna go ahead and erase all of these pencil lines. Okay, clean it up nice for yourself so you don't have any of those pencil lines in there. You guys are get, becoming really good artists, so we wanna make it look better the best that we possibly can have it. Now remember, this is the horizon line. Da 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 da, say horizon line. So the sky comes, starts all the way at the top of our picture and it comes all the way down to the land that we drew. So make sure that in your picture, I don't know if you can see that, but I took my crayon and I rubbed it like that on the side, took the wrapping off. Make sure that your sky comes all the way down to the horizon line. Da 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 da. Okay, 
And then you can do whatever you want in the background. Da 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 is the background of your picture. I drew some spikes here to show the tufts of grass, a little texture. Da 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 da. All kinds of art words in here today. Okay. I also did not just draw color my sun yellow. I put a little bit of orange in there. If you want to put some clouds in your sky, you can. All right, I think we're done. You have fun, and I cannot wait to see your pictures. So email them to me or upload them in Google Classroom. Bye for now.